Hi, Andrew here. Today we're going to take a look at another type of ammunition that a lot of people have been requesting. That's Fort Scott's 62 grain solid brass brass hog. Uh, as you might imagine, this is not intended to expand or fragment or any of that sort of thing. It does its wounding by yawing. Fort Scott claims that it yaws early and hard and creates a large temporary stretch cavity without the benefit of any expansion or fragmentation. So let's shoot it out of my 10 and a half inch ARFCOM upper into calibrated 10% ballistic gelatin. Let's get out to the range and take a look. I fired three rounds into this block and I couldn't capture a single one of them. One came out here, one came out up here, one came out here. None of them stopped in the block, but we don't expect that a solid brass bullet is gonna have any deformation, fragmentation, bending, smooshing, anything. I can almost guarantee that when if we were to recover it, that it would look exactly the way it did when it, before it was fired, except for the rifling marks on it. So is this effective? Does it do what it says? Well, sure. I mean, it does yaw, but so does every other Spitzer-shaped rifle bullet. And we can see from the disruption in the gel, as well as the high speed, that the point that it's yawing at isn't especially early. I mean, it's not really any better than M855 or 7N6 or any other bullet that doesn't fragment. So the ultimate verdict is, yeah, sure, it's ammo and it pokes holes and stuff, but I, I wouldn't rely on it for defensive use. All right, so what is there to really say about this? Did it yaw? Yes, of course it yawed. But all Spitzer-shaped rifle bullets yaw, and the depth at which this yawed wasn't particularly shallow. I mean, it's it's comparable to M855 or really any other 5.56 ammo that doesn't fragment or expand. So is that a good thing? Well, in one sense, yes. A rifle speed bullet that yaws causes substantially more tissue destruction than even the best expanding pistol bullet. However, there are so many rifle loads that outperform this by miles that I have a hard time coming up with anything good to say about it. The only thing I can really think of is that if you're hunting something kind of medium to small size, like say a javelina, and you don't want to ruin a lot of meat, this might not be a bad choice. It would do that. It would poke a hole through it, cause enough tissue destruction for a humane kill without causing a lot of fragmentation and expansion and bruising more meat than is necessary to get that humane kill. If I'm wrong, let me know. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. As always, we really appreciate your support. Thank you for supporting this channel. If you want to rent a high-speed camera like the Phantom that was used to create the video in th this video, Get in touch with AIMED Research. Their contact information will be in the description below. Have a great day.